In this video, I'll demonstrate how to import data to Gephi for network analysis. There are so many ways to import data into Gephi. Let's first look at a network data file I've already created. Here, the data are created and organized in Excel. Here is the data structure. Column A, source. Column B, target. Column C, directed. So this means our network is going to be a directed network. So the ties in the network have arrows. The first row represent a tie. Node 1 talk to node 2. And the fourth column weight means the tie weight, how strong the tie is. It depends on how you define the tie weight. For example, I'm using network to demonstrate who talked to whom at the dining table and how many times they had a conversation is considered as the tie weight in this data set. And we have 52 rows in the network, meaning we have 52 ties in the network. So this is the data I want to import to Gephi for network analysis. To do that, I go to Gephi, File, Import spreadsheet. The name of the file is called Gaffey Dining Table Partners Edges CSV. My data file is in the CSV format. I select a CSV here. If your data file is in Excel, you can select Excel data format. Let me click CSV and the file that I just saved is called Edges, Dining Table Partners Edges open. Here it shows which data file that I imported to Gephi. I imported as edge tables. Edge means ties. Each row represents a tie in my network. You can also import nodes table, adjacency list, and matrix. We'll talk about those data later. Let's click next. We don't have to worry about intervals here. If we analyze longitudinal network data, meaning we have a column in our data that shows time, then we use intervals. Here it shows the imported columns. We have source, we have target. This is the basic network data structure. And we also have column of type and weight. Type meaning whether our tie is directed or not, and weight represent our tie strength. Finish. It shows we have 26 ties and 52 edges. It's not a dynamic graph because we don't have time. And now we have imported our network data into Gephi. There are other ways to import network files into Gephi for data analysis. We can use plugins. To do that, we go to Tools, Plugins available plugins, click name, so we can see all the plugins in alphabetical order. The plugin we're going to use is called convert Excel and the CSV file to networks. Select it. Here is a description. This plugin helps you import Excel files and CSV file into Gephi by transforming them into networks. It takes the rows of your file and let you define which relationship should we find in it. We install it. Next. Check the box, I accept the terms in all of the license agreements. But that's a lie. Anyway, install. Let's look at the data that we're going to import. This is my data file. The data structure is different from the last data file. Here I have two columns. Column A are co-authors. Column B are paper. So for example, this is one paper and we have three co-authors, Kelly, Stacy, and Sonia. And I use a comma to separate each co-author. Another paper, we have four co-authors. Paper number three, we have five co-authors. Paper number four, we have two authors. And paper number five, we have two authors. 
Now let's look at the last two rows. Frank and Bob co-authored in one paper, and then Bob co-authored with Daniel in another paper. So that's our data structure. This data structure is called co-occurrence network. Bob and Daniel co-occur, co-author in paper five. Frank and Bob co-occur or co-author in paper four. So we have a tie connecting our co-authors. Let's import our co-occurrence network into Gephi. We go to Gephi and use our plugin. Go to File, Import. Remember here we use import, not import spreadsheet. Click Import. Data Importer Co-occurrences. This is the plugin we just installed. Next, select a file. My file is on desktop. And this is the name of the file, network data. Open. My data is in sheet one. This is sheet one. If you have different sheet in your spreadsheet, then you can select the sheet. Here, sheet one, next. What are connections made of? This type of agent. We want to connect our co-authors to co-authors. So this type of agent, co-authors, is connected to co-authors. Example for a network of co-authors, pick the field of co-authors twice. Next. Co-authors, is this field made of subfield? If so, what's the delimiter? I use comma to separate my co-authors. So my delimiter is comma. Next. If you want to create a dynamic network, what's the field for time? I am not creating dynamic network, so I don't do anything. Next. Create links between co-author agents to links between co-author agents. Check this box. Next. Finish. We have 30 nodes. Each node is a co-author. Number of ties meaning co-occurrence or co-authorship ties. Okay. This is our network. Let's change it to a different layout. This is better. Labels, color, a lighter color. Now we can read our labels. Bob co-author with Frank in one paper. Bob co-author with Daniel in another paper. So we have ties representing co-occurrence network. So ties represent co-authorship or co-occurrence in the network. This is how you import co-occurrence network into Gephi for network analysis.